to another video. Today I'll be talking to you about Effects House, which is TikTok's entry to the world of social AR. But first, this year I'd really like to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of 2022, so um, your help is much appreciated. So if you are new to the channel and this is your first time here and you're not subscribed, please subscribe if you like what you're, you're hearing, but also uh, do hit that like button um, because there's gonna be many more videos uh, related to this uh, topic we're gonna discuss today. Thanks. Right on with the content. So we're going to be talking about Effects House from TikTok. So this is TikTok's uh, entry into the world of social AR. Obviously, at the moment, we have Instagram and Facebook and, and Snapchat. They have their platforms. So for Snapchat, we've got Lens Studio. And obviously, for uh, Instagram and Facebook, we have Spark AR. And both of those systems have got a long history. There's some, you know, there's well... Uh, a good setup, lots of tech in there for everyone to use, and they're a great benchmark. I mean, they are the benchmark for social AR platform, you know, type of development. You've been, if, um, if you're like me, you've been using them for a number of years, and you know, if you're going to build anything, you go, I will go and use that because that's the right piece of kit to use. Now, obviously, when TikTok came along, it meant that um, they could also do AR, but that AR was still closed off to. Um, Sort of secured partners, uh, you know, third companies that would only work directly with TikTok to develop those AR capabilities, uh, which which could then be put out as effects. So, what's happened since? Obviously, TikTok has obviously blown or sort of, you know, exploded as the phenomenal that it is. Uh, sorry, phenomenon, phenomenon that it is. So, um, I got access to with a load of, a load of other people. We all just signed up for the beta, or we all signed up for Effects House when it was mentioned that TikTok were going to be releasing their own software sort of I don't know back in mid 2021 July time actually might even have been before then might even been the year before that we all signed up and we just waited and waited and waited and then lo and behold uh, November last year uh, the effects house beta was released now it was a closed beta so it wasn't it wasn't circulated to the wider world so you were those people that had signed up really early on uh, because I kept on getting asked when I was playing around with Effects House during the closed beta, you know, hey, that looks amazing. How can I get access to it? You know, I'm I've been doing this stuff for, stuff for years. That's what people were saying to me. I was like, yeah, you need to sign up for the the beta, and you could still do that at the time. However, the closed beta was only set to sort of a few hundred, and then it went up to about four fifty, I think, just before this release. So anyway, I slightly digress there, but basically they released the closed beta back in December last year around that time and since then um we've been all us sort of us creators that got access to it early on in that closed beta session we were part of the discord community which they set up so we helped um with that development so we would create effects and filters and then sort of share them back with the community and then we point out bugs errors things we'd like to see things we didn't think that worked we just kept on feeding into the model so the guys at Effects House and um, and people that were running the TikTok community uh, on Discord have been amazing, and they've you know helped us creators. And so now it is released. It's still released as beta, so it's still a beta uh, software. It's not it's not finished. Um, it's on version one now, but I think when most of us started using it in the closed beta, it was like zero point zero eight or something. So it's come a long way. There's still more to be done, and there's still more effects to come with it. Um, so basically, I'm going to quickly go through it now. I'm going to quickly show you the overview of the tech. We'll make a very quick filter or sorry, effect together. And then we'll just go through what that deployment process looks like. So as I say, it's very quick. This is just a quick chat about it. If you do have any questions about the software, um, obviously put them in the comments below and we can, we can discuss it there. Um, so on the effects house, so if you go to effectshouse.tiktok.com, uh, forward slash uh, effects dash platform you can basically get to the software itself and you can go and download it from there there's a cracking little video just to watch and listen about it all there um, obviously you need do need to sign up and you can link your tiktok account um, and that point the software is locked to your account so something to really important to point out is that the software itself is very much tied to your user account so a bit like if you're on facebook uh, and and with snapchat you have to sort of log in and log out so if you did want to run other accounts that capability is coming i believe i might be wrong it might already be here but you can log out and log in again 
Now, one thing I wanted to quickly show, which I've just popped up on the screen now, is the analytics, which I have to say is just amazing. Um, and I'm not going to um, go too much into it, but just to say, you know, you, you build an effect because the way TikTok works, your effects are seen and used rapidly. It's, it's just insane, the numbers. So anyway, um, I just want to say here, right here, I mean, this is nothing, right? I'm, I'm, I'm putting out, hey, I've got 88 million views of my content so far. But as you know, and as I'm sure you, most of you who are subscribed will know that I'm not a huge um, creator, so I don't have that many followers. But that's just the sheer numbers of people that have looked at the content, I mean, looked at the videos of AR effects I have created that I've just shared. And then people out there have just gone on, got on with it. So for example, a really good, uh, an example of it's gone mad is um, I made a Joker filter. Now this Joker filter is literally a PNG you add to your face, that's as detailed as it got. And I posted that back in November last year. It's currently on to about 2 million plays. So that's people that have loaded it, played it, played with it. So it's about 2.1 million plays. It's then those videos that have been generated from it are about 60, so call it 64,000 videos have been generated from it. And then the likes on top of that are about 6 million. You've got shares of 684,000. What's even more crazy is just the number of videos that have been seen with that in there. It's about 40 million. Now, this is the testament to the way TikTok works and the way people can just take the effect and create and, and do their own thing with it. So I think that's one of the huge benefits of it. Anyway, that was a quick talk about the the sort of the analytics, the numbers you get back. Now this, I've been, we've been told that the analytical stuff will update over time. So there'll be more information. You'll be able to see the regions, uh, more demographic information as well, just to get, give you a better breakdown of it. Um, but f really you guys are all here just to see quickly about uh, the, the new platform. So let's get into it. So I'll just close that now. Okay, so very similar to the other platforms, you get this like little ID set up you can either select from a template now the templates themselves are very limited at the moment there's only a few you you know ne don't necessarily need these to build your own but they're a great baseline to work from um, now i was going to show you a filter i had already created but it turns out one of the <laughs> one of the things about everything being in beta is that there's always a different version being released sort of every few weeks so i created that filter in an older version of it um, so i can't reopen it um, but i have been assured that eventually you will be able, to, be able to open older versions, but you never know, that might change. So I can't show you that. So I'm gonna to have to show you how to create a new filter yourself. So um, as I say, you could go straight from a, a template, uh, but we're just gonna start and create a fresh project. So you go uh, create new template. So very similar to other platforms, you essentially got your hierarchy, your scene on the left-hand side. You've got your uh, your stage, your scene, your platform, your 3D area in the middle. It's got the um, standard control for configuration in the middle, so you can still um, move around like that. Uh, you've got the uh, controls in the top right, are very similar to um, Blender if you want to reconfigure the camera, which is quite nice. And then um, on the right hand side, you've got the uh, viewport, so you've got obviously the, the camera. So you can select idle people, which is quite nice. Similar with the other platforms, you've got different uh, people types uh, doing different things. You've got full body, you've got two people, you've got hands. So um, really, really helpful when you're just sort of, you know, creating your own uh, effect, but you don't want to have yourself in shot, which you might have noticed because I'm not in shot. Um, also, other things you've got is that you can record the, the videos here as part of your setup for your um, publishing process. Also, um, on the left-hand side, back on the left-hand side, we've got the asset area. So essentially, you know, same with most other platforms, you can import, you can do text uh, image sequences, you can import 3D meshes and stuff. Um, then you've got uh, material imports, texture imports. I mean, all the stuff you're probably all very familiar with, occluders, you know, there's lots of standard stuff out of the box that you don't have to create, which is really, really nice. So this is a real whirlwind tour, so I apologize if I'm going a bit quick. So let's make a really quick filter. Oh, before I forget the elephant in the room is you can also do um, programming with what they call nodes. So on other systems, uh, they call it patches or you're just programming pure in JavaScript, but 
in this case you've got something called uh, node uh, or nodes as they call them so you've got an update patch or node in this case and then a start node I'm not going to do anything with that today I'm literally going to just jump on to uh, creating a very quick face effect all right sorry about that okay so go uh, on the left hand side um, tap add object then under face effect you've got lots of presets so obviously you've got things like color eyes uh, you've got uh, face stickers you've got face liquify interesting very cool i'm gonna, just going to do face stretch so face stretch then opens it up into a different canvas so you've moved away from the normal canvas that you're familiar with then on the right hand side you've got some basic uh, functionality for that effect um, but the the cool part is obviously just what you can do straight out of the box so i'm just going to make some stretches so uh, for anyone who remembers the cone heads uh, from the early 80s let's have a go at that so you just pull these little points which will do all the stretching for you and then you can adjust it so you can pull these little points together you can keep it nice and symmetrical tighten the face pull the chin out but as you notice when i pull the chin out there can you see that it actually pulls the lower half of the neck and then pulls into the shirt so some effects are like yeah you can definitely go for it and pull a, do some pulling on them but if you do so be aware that you are going to distort more of the scene so a bit like on other systems and other platforms when you're doing the distortion be aware of how much you're distorting with anyway let's carry on with the fun on the right hand side we've got the face stretch um, sort of properties um, now it should be noted there's a plus and a tick now these elements you can use within the node area for coding with I'm not going to do that right now but if you tap them um, you can basically add them into the uh, editing uh, into the coding area down here but again as I say I'm not going to do that today That's, this is just a quick video to talk about how this works so back over on the right hand side under face stretch you've got um, which face I'm not sure what which face does oh set face which shows okay so the coding element and then you've got uh, intensity so I can increase the or lower the intensity of how much the effect affects the face so I'm just going to crank it right up so full blown uh, cone head right so let's just say I'm happy with that effect well first things first of course you should save it so command s or um, or control s on PC unfortunately the software isn't available on PC just yet so you're gonna have to live as it is um, but you know they are developing it for the Windows platform so it will come along soon enough okay so we'll just call this oh we'll call it cone head cone head uh, right save right so we've now saved that as cone head and then I'm just gonna go and add now one really nice thing to do is um, it recognizes uh, files and stuff so what's really handy to do is create the icon you need before uh, for your, your your effect so I've just got this really quick icon just gonna drop it in there and I've called it icon.png if you create anything and call it icon.png or icon.jpg it will be picked up when you go to publish so I'm just gonna go and now publish that so uh, we've got the submit button top right hand corner so um, see look it's already detected that icon so great um, So you can just yeah happy brilliant apply so you just give it a quick name can head uh, then what type of it show face so really simple hit the continue button it's going to automatically take me into my account so now it just wants to know very similar to other platforms oh it's so funny um, I don't know I'll call it cone head again cone head yeah, we've just got to go ahead. Um, no, and then you can upload a video. Now here, it says about uploading a video to demo it, right? To get past the tutorial, uh, to get past the QA process. So really quick, easy thing to do is just come back over to the software, hit done on that. And what you can do is hit this little screen record button, bottom right hand corner, hit that. And it will record a video of what's going on right now for you. Then you just hit stop on it. And then you decide when you want it so i just call it demo save it into the same location now you can see it's been added there 
select it, playback, there you go. Then back over to the platform where I've uploaded it, so I'm going to upload my video. Right, that's it, and you hit submit. Now you can instantly demo your effect. Um, obviously you can scan this with your TikTok app. You can also uh, manage it through the manage section of your account. So you can see there it's been uh, added. It's on the bottom there and it's under review. Now the review process I found can be relatively quick, sort of 24 hours. Some platforms obviously can be slightly longer than that. But in this case, yes, it should be about under 24 hours before that is um, passes QA. Okay, that's it. Um, that was the whistle stop tour of effects house. Um, I hope you find it interesting. I hope you go and download it. I do recommend you go and downloading it ASAP uh, so you can get into it because this is going to be the must have tech for social AR in 2022. You do need to learn it. It's going to be the, the software you need to know. Um, so please do get it and uh, download it. And hopefully you and I will catch up again. Thanks for watching.